<clears throat> Hello, my friend. Welcome to live chat. Hello. Okay, so I had a completely different topic. I feel like Rachel Maddow over here. You know, when Rachel Maddow, if you watch Rachel Maddow, and some of you probably don't watch her, but every Friday, pretty much, at least I haven't watched her in a minute, but I remember every Friday she's like, I had a whole show all set up. And then something happened, and now I have to change my entire show. So today's chat was supposed to be about some positive things happening in the beauty community. Uh, I have already, I still have it locked and ready to go. Like I've got, well, we're going to talk about Christy and the amazing news with Raw Beauty Christy. We're going to talk a little about Marlena Stell and some of the things that she's doing um, and some other positive things that are happening in the beauty community. But then Shane Dawson popped off at a little after midnight my time last night. And it was like, okay, well, I guess uh, we're going to talk about something different this morning. So uh, we're going to go through the whole thing and we're going to go through his tweet and we're going to kind of break it down. And I really want to give my perspective on this because I feel like I have a relatively unique perspective in that, well, relative, relatively unique in that I've been on this platform since 2006. So I've watched the platform grow. I've watched the beauty community grow since the beginning. And I know some of you all have been here since Michelle Fawn and, you know, the beginning of the beauty days. Uh, I, I know some of you have been there too. So you, I'm curious to know your perspective compared to mine. Um, but I've been, I've been on this platform for a long time. So I feel like... I have, I have things I want to say. Let's just say that. Um, oh, okay, before we get into it, I do want to say hello and good morning very quickly to the collective brain of Makeup Awesomeness, also known as the people that are here in live chat. I know this annoys some people, but I think that it's rude for me to invite people into my home and not say hello to at least some of the people that are here in my home right now. So I want to say good morning to Teresa Emmo. Teresa, thank you for being here. Marissa, thank you for being here. My family is doing well. We are doing well. Thank you so much for asking. Um, Amber, good morning. And she says, happy Father's Day to John. Thank you so much. Happy Father's Day to all of the fathers and the people who act as fathers and the fathers of furry and winged and scaled children. Um, if you consider yourself a father in any way, happy Father's Day to you. Uh, Moe, I hope I said that right. Moe, good morning to you. Amber, good morning. Jackie. Good morning to you. H-N-M-R. Yay, I've been waiting all week for this. Yay, well, I'm happy you're here. Clarissa, good morning. Good morning to Wendy and Freya. Welcome back. She says, hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. Teresa's reminding everybody to like and share. Thank you, Teresa, for that. Uh, Melissa, good morning. Jess, good morning to you and your Purple Hearts in Austin, Texas. Sarah, good morning from sunny Florida. Good morning to you. Vicky, good morning to you. Vicky's been around forever. <laughs> Welcome, Vicky. So happy to have you here. Okay, so um, I do want to make a quick note about the Collective Brain Elite. If you're seeing in chat people in green with a red heart next to them, uh, that is something that I created to support the channel when my husband wasn't working um, and because of the pandemic and his business had to be closed. And I, I thought I had people asking me, can, is there a way that they can contribute? I felt a little weird about the super chat. Uh, there were relatively large donations coming in and it was kind of freaking me out. So I was like, you know, I really wanted to like at least give something. Like, I don't know, I can get a little something. So you, if you join the Collective Brain Elite, you get a little stamp next to your name and your name turns green in chat. I've had quite a few comments recently that I'm begging for money. I will never ask you to join the Collective Brain Elite. I have never asked you. I, I'm leaving it open as an option. If you are here watching, you are supporting the channel. If you watch my other content, you are supporting the channel you do not need to spend money in order to support the channel and I will never beg you for money this is that's not what this is about this is about people who wanted to support the channel and I'm giving people that way if it's not for you it's totally okay please never feel obligated and I will never ever ever and never have I ever begged for money and it's not going to happen so it's just an option I know that some people are upset about it that's why I'm mentioning it all right now that my own personal drama <laughs> it's over. My girl Lucinda is here. Lucinda is early today or time zone change. No, it's morning. It's midnight for you. Oh my goodness, Lucinda. We have a couple of Lucindas. Did you know that? 
At first I thought it was the Lucinda that I have been, that's been subscribed for a really, really, really long time, but Luc this Lucinda has been subscribed for a while uh, as well. Thank you so much, D. D's been around for a while too. Thank you, D, for joining me, Elite. Okay, so um, Mitch Michi says, you've never begged for money. I never will, never will, never will happen. Never, in a million years. Okay, so slow mode forgot about slow mode thank you so much sorry moderators i appreciate you i'm sorry i did not turn on slow mode i was rushing this was legit the five minute makeup challenge like i put this on in five minutes and we're gonna go over what i have on my face mid roll okay in the middle of it so let me go ahead and let's start uh talking about today's topic now that we're quite a few minutes in so Last night, Shane Dawson popped off. If you are not aware of the things going on with Jeffree Star, there's a lot of stuff going on with Jeffrey. a lot even more things. I mean, when once you think you've, you've learned all the cruddy things about Jeffree Star, more things keep coming out and more things keep being revealed and it's like all of this stuff. So yesterday during the day, they had a relaunch of the Jeffrey and Shane collection. And it was it was interesting because it was trending on Twitter, but it was... Trending for two reasons. One reason was because people were trying to purchase thing. The other reason was like, okay, so um, you put up all this Black Lives Matter stuff and you're still purchasing from Jeffree Star? Like how? Because of all of the racist things that have come out about him over the years. And, and I know a lot of people say, you know, this stuff happened 10 years ago. Why are we still, you know, he apologized for it. Why are we still? It's not just about 10 years ago. It's about more recent things. Um, the Jackie Ina gorilla thing was what, a year and a half ago? Like, I mean, this stuff is not old. <laughs> there's a lot of old stuff, but then there's newer stuff too, you know? So I know that there's going, there's a beauty mama. There's always Jeffree Star drama. I know, I know. And I don't want to focus on Jeffree, but that's where all of this starts. Okay. Um, yeah, Omni Blast. Shane conveniently leaves the beauty community the day after he announces his restock. Also equating. Okay, yes, we're gonna get into all of that. We're gonna we're go we're going there. We're going there. Okay. If you are not interested in this part, um, I do plan on talking about other things in the second half of the chat. So don't worry. You, if you're watching the replay, I will have timestamps you can skip ahead. Okay. But for those that are interested in this part and want to hear what I have to say, that's why I'm talking about it. If you're not interested, I get it. It's all good. And I know. Some people that love Jeffree Star are not going to be happy with me today. I'm just letting you know, you're not going to be happy with me today. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and just show. It was like a four-page um, long. Oh, that's not the first one. Hold on a second. Where's the first one? This is the first one. All right, so welcome to the circus. I'm not going to read this whole thing. Um, it's final thoughts in the beauty world. Basically, the beginning is that he was being accused of orchestrating the whole thing between... Okay, let me go back to me for a second. A lot of people were accusing Jeffrey and Shane of orchestrating the drama between Tati and James Charles. A lot of people were, um, were accusing them of that. Basically, in the beginning of that, Shane's denying it. He's saying that that wasn't the way that it was. This is the part I want to focus on, on the first part. Okay, there is a cuss word in this screenshot. I'm just letting you know. I didn't have time to blur it out. So if you do not want to see a cuss word on the screen, then you don't want to... Look at this part. All right. So the conspiracy palette was one of the best experiences of my life. The series with Jeffrey changed my life and changed me as a person. It helped me be more confident and stand up for myself, which I've always been bad at. So to honor the series, what I learned from it, I'm going to say, this is the part. The beauty gurus who are always involved in scandals are all the effing same. They are all attention-seeking, game-playing, egocentric, narcissistic, vengeful, two-faced, ticking time bombs ready to explode, and I'm over it. I think it's important to note there that he didn't say the entire beauty community. He said the beauty gurus who are always involved in scandals and are all the same. Okay, so think about in your mind who you think of when you think about the beauty gurus that are always involved in drama. Those are the ones that he seems to be talking about, okay? So that would include Jeffrey, right? Yes? Okay. Then we get to the second one. Okay, and again, I'm not going to read the whole thing. Um, okay, 
right? Yes, they are talented, creative, smart, and love makeup, but they also joined a side of the internet that is obsessed with looks, money, power, fame, screenshots, and subtweets. Releasing private texts, voice memos, emails, and other receipts as a way to paint yourself in a particular light or someone else in a bad light is weird to me, and I will never engage in that. That is a game that they know how to play well, and I would rather eat my own hands off than play it. Yes, Jeffrey is in that list of dramatic gurus, and he would admit to that. And he will always be family to me, and I love him despite those characteristics. See, I was, I, okay. They join the side of the internet that is obsessed with looks, money, power, fame, screenshots, and subtweets. Okay. That is not the beauty community. That is not, that's, that's where I feel like I want to reach through the screen and shake him. No, no, this is incorrect. Incorrect. There is a very small segment of the beauty community, and it's not only the large ones, okay? It's not only the large ones. It's a very, but it is a very small segment of the beauty community that is obsessed with looks, money, power, fame, screenshots, and subtweets. That exists, but it's this big, and the beauty community is this big. The beauty community is whoever you surround yourself with, who you subscribe to. I've said this before, who you subscribe to, who you watch, who you choose to be your beauty community, that's the beauty community. It's way too big to be encompassing for everybody. It's way too big. It's not, you, you can't, that's not true. It's just straight up not true, okay? I get that he doesn't wanna be involved in, but this is the thing. It's like, there's a contradiction here, okay? Yes, Jeffrey is in the list of dramatic gurus. So this is where, it, so he, has a person that he considers family that is an attention-seeking, game-playing, egocentric, narcissistic, vengeful, two-faced, ticking time bomb ready to explode. But yet this person is family. It's so weird to me. I mean, you can choose whoever you want to call your family. But that's not somebody that I would want to call my family. I'm just saying. Like, that's just me. I think that's weird. But, I mean, you choose who you want to be family. I, I don't. I wouldn't want somebody like that in my life. That's too much for me. Especially as somebody who already says they have anxiety issues and all of this stuff going on emotionally and is very sensitive. Like, why would you put somebody like that in your life? If you are so sensitive and you are so emotional, why would you put somebody like that in your life? Like, it's just asking for trouble. Why would you do that to yourself? Like, I don't get it. And maybe there's a part of their relationship that I just don't understand. I just don't know. Okay. All right. Let me pause for a second and see what the community is saying. And then we're going to go on because I've been talking for a while. Um, Elizabeth, Shane is seeing the beauty community through the lens of being part of the Jeffree Star circle. There's a handful of people involved in drama. Most of the beauty community is great. Oh, 100%. Stacy says, you look at people like Christy, Taylor, Jen, Mel, etc. And no, it isn't everyone. 100%. I'm getting buzzing. Oh, it's my aunt calling me. I'll call her back later. Um, let's see. Okay, we're going to get to the James Charles stuff in a little bit because we haven't gotten to that part in the things. Uh, Alina says, I love my JFC stuff and I find him entertaining. I also am a firm believer in people changing. My husband is a fabulous example of that, but a lot of drama is petty. I want to scream, grow up. Yeah, I mean... You have to decide, okay, so I was talking to Audra. I, I've been talking to Audra from Audra at Home like every single day. And we were talking about like, you are what you eat kind of thing, okay? So whatever you're consuming, whatever you watch, it becomes a part of you. It becomes part of your general demeanor, whether you want to or not. So if you're watching a lot of reality TV, if you're watching a lot of, you know, whatever, you bring that inside of you and it's you can't help but have that affect you, whatever you're watching. So we as a community have to consciously choose what we want to eat, like junk food. There's nothing wrong with watching drama channels. There's nothing wrong with watching whoever you want to watch, whoever you choose to, but just know that that's going to affect you as a person, what you choose to watch. So, you know, I mean, Mm. You, you, we, we have to make individual choices of what we want to see. All right. So let's go to the next screenshot. It's, this is just little pieces of his whole thing. I don't want to go over the whole thing. So this is where 
Shane exits the beauty community. Okay, but as far as being in the beauty world, I can't take the drama anymore and it's now, and it's not how I'm wired, so I'm out. It's draining, exhausting, depressing, and sometimes amazing, but for me, the amazing is outweighed by the bad. I can't have a pit in my stomach every day waiting for the next scandal or the next exposed video. It's gonna give me health issues and I'm done caring about it anymore. Okay. Mm. Sorry for that weird noise right in the microphone, okay. That, okay, that's not the beauty community. It's not, it's just not. <laughs> if, if Shane really, Shane, if you're watching this, if you really wanna get involved in the beauty community, you can do that. I don't think, I, from my gut, this is my gut, I could be wrong, but I don't think that's what this was about. I think this was about collaborating with a large channel the biggest beauty, well, not the biggest, the second biggest, if we want to be real, beauty channel. And, you know, that that was, that was, when you want to, when you collaborate with people, you want to collaborate with people that are going to help you grow your own platform. That's just what we're here for on YouTube. We want to grow our platforms. I get that. But if you truly want to know about the beauty community, that is not it. That was not the path. And then to say you're leaving the beauty community because you had a negative experience with a very small subset of popular YouTubers, that, that makes no sense to me. To me, that says you didn't really want to understand us. You didn't really want to understand the beauty community because if you did, you would have talked to Robbie D. Christie. You would have talked to Samantha Ravindahl. You would have talked to, I don't know, there's so many people. I mean, I think we will all have our own list of people that Shane could have talked to to really understand the beauty community. You know, there's so many good people if he truly wanted to understand, but that's, that wouldn't have gotten as many views. That wouldn't have gotten as much attention. That wouldn't have gotten this. So you have to take the trade off. Are you going to, are, are you creating content for views, which we all do. I mean, that's why I'm doing this video. Let's just be honest. I could have just talked about the positivity and talked about the good things, but I have things I want to say about this and I know people are going to watch this. I'm just going to be honest with you, okay? It's the truth. I know people are more likely to watch this than if I just hem and haul, not hem and haul, that's probably not the right thing. If I just, you know, freak out about how happy I am for Christy. My, my audience doesn't want to watch that as much. That's the truth. And that's what this was about. Let's just, let's just be honest. How many millions of dollars were made off that eyeshadow palette? If, if Shane had collaborated with an indie brand that isn't as popular, but truly loves makeup, truly loves the industry, truly doing good things, it wouldn't have been as popular. And it's just the game of YouTube. I mean, like I was saying, from being on this platform from the very beginning, it's just the game of YouTube. Your goal is to get views. And he did that successfully. But when the fire gets hot, you can't complain that the fire is too hot. You went into the fire knowing you were going into the fire. Maybe you didn't realize it was going to get that hot, but you knew you were going into the fire by choosing to collaborate with Jeffree Star. How did, I, there's no way you couldn't have known. You know what I'm saying? So you have to take the good with the bad. But don't say, don't sit there and say, I'm not mad. I'm just, I'm just clarifying. I sound like I'm, I'm mad. My tone sounds mad, but I'm, I'm honestly not mad. I'm just a little bit like, don't say you're out of the beauty community because of Jeffree Star, because there's so much more to it. If you really truly wanted to know, there are people there here that would show you what the beauty community is really like, if you really truly wanted to know. That's my point. All right, one more clip from this uh, that I want to show you. Looking back, I still believe, uh, oh, talking about Tati, okay. That is a whole nother thing. Well, we'll just move on. Looking back, I still believe that Tati, Tati on a lot of what she said, and I believe she felt it was what she needed to do at the time. Does she regret it? Probably. Does it mean we get, we should see James as some poor, innocent, sweet angel? No, don't get it twisted. Him and Jeffrey have always been at the top of the dramatic guru list, and I mean that with love. It's like, oh gosh. Okay. Okay. I think we need to go on to the next screenshot. Okay. So this is the full screenshot and you can find these all over the place. 
He took it down. We'll talk about that in a minute. Do I think James is the devil? No. Do I think he was an eccentric, young, power-hungry guru who needed to be served a slice of humble pie the size of the mm -mm, Empire State Building? Yes. Oh. I have a feeling that didn't come out the way that he wanted it to come out. <laughs> I have a feeling. Because nobody deserves to have exaggerations and lies spread about them in order to serve them a slice of humble pie. I have said before, and I did a whole live stream on it, about my feelings about James's ego. That's not my business. He has a right to have a big ego. If he wants to have a big ego, it's not my business. <laughs> Like, he can choose to be any way he wants to be. Is he the kind of person that I want to, like, hang... He's too young to hang out with me anyway. I mean, who cares? <laughs> you know? Wait, wait, wait. I don't know. That's a whole other topic. But I don't think it's any of our jobs to bring anybody down a peg. That's not... Why? That's not our business. Like, you know what I mean? Like, why? Why? Like, let, let, if he needs to be brought down a peg, then then... Let karma get him, you know? Like, why, why? It shouldn't be people trying to bring people down because of a certain, you know? Like, I don't know. I have to think about the way I want to word this because I do think that some people need to be brought down because of their behavior. And I don't know. I need to worry. I need to figure out how I want to say this because I'm getting in sticky situation here. Um, my point is, is that I don't think that it was anybody, I don't think it's okay to spread exaggerations or lies about someone in order to serve them a slice of humble pie. I don't know. I just, I think that that's, I don't know if that's how he meant it, but that's the way it came out. So I don't know. Okay, we are 22 minutes in, so I want to speed through the rest of this because I do want to talk about other things. So this is more about him being out. Uh, as far as being in the beauty world, I can't take the drama anymore, So I'm, and it's not how I'm wired, so I'm out. I already talked about that. I think that's ridiculous. It's draining, exhausting, depressing, and sometimes amazing. Did I already read this one? I feel like I already did. I already read that one. Yep, I already read that one. Sorry. There we go. I lost track of my things. This part. Oh my gosh. Okay. Was Jeffrey excited to see a competitor fall? Probably. He's Jeffrey mm -mm, Star. What do you expect? So this is somebody that's in your family. This is somebody you consider family. Somebody that enjoys watching a competitor fall? Like, why? Why would you want to be friends with somebody like that? Why? If you were a good person, why would you want to be friends with somebody like that? I don't get that. I mean, it's basically saying he's not a saint. I mean, it's, mm, okay, we're getting to the end here. This is the last one. This is the full text. Okay. This, this, this clip is really long, but I felt like it said a lot. Remember to not expect these gurus to mean some kind of high moral code. And we shouldn't have some, they must be perfect or their cancel mentality. It's not asking for, we're not asking for perfection. We're asking people not to be cruddy humans. The reason you watch these people is because they are so extra. They're dramatic. And if you keep canceling them and wanting them to go away, then who will you talk about? Don't go to a circus to watch the hay on the ground. Oh my gosh, this just like made my stomach just turn. You watch the over-the-top performers who just want to be liked and want to do whatever they can to get attention. And if you don't want to feed into it, then don't. Before all the drama-free gurus... Oh wait, this is another part. Hold on. Let's just talk about that part first. Oh my gosh, there's just so much in here, so much to unpack. Okay. I mean, I understand what he's, I think I understand what he's trying to say is that we do, we do watch the people that are full of drama and it's not just the beauty community though. And it seems like Shane's friends with a lot of these people. You think about, you know, Trisha Paytas, who is full of drama. Who else? Like all these people um, that, I don't want to name a ton of names, but you know what I'm talking about. Drama does bring views. That's that's the truth. That's reality. But it's like, and you keep canceling them, want them to go away, then who will you talk about? Well, hopefully, if we can 
evolve as a society, we can actually talk about positive things like I plan on talking about as soon as humanly possible. Um, you know, but I don't, I don't, I don't see us evolving anytime soon. So I don't know. I mean, I think we've been talking about this forever is that we need to, as a society, decide what we want, who we want to raise up. Do we want to raise up the people that are negative and obviously horrible humans? Or do we want to raise up the people that are actually good people? And, you know, I, we are going to talk about Christy. I mean, I feel like Christy restored some of my faith in, has restored some of my faith in the beauty community as a whole, Christy and Bailey Sarian, um, that they both hit a million subscribers and they're both lovely humans. Um, and it shows me you can be a good person and do well in the beauty space. You absolutely can. But you have to have something that makes you more interesting than the next person. And it doesn't have to be negative. It just has to be different, you know? So, I mean, hopefully we'll be lifting up those kinds of people, you know? That's, that's what I think. So let's go to the next part. Okay. And then it says, but before the drama-free gurus pop off at me and say, well, I'm not involved in drama and I'm perfect, girl, please, your top few videos are probably top makeup fails and anti-hauls with vomit emojis all over the screen. He's not 100% wrong, but at the same time, it's not exactly the same. Having an anti-haul or a fails video is completely different than drama that could potentially ruin someone's life. There's a huge difference there. It's a huge difference. And I think we all know there's a huge difference there. So. But let's not pretend that the beauty world isn't negativity first and makeup second. That's not the beauty world. That's the entire world. That's not the beauty world. That's everybody. That's the whole beauty community. Look at all the other people. There's so many. The Jake Pauls and the Trisha Paytases. Come on. It's just how it is, and I'm sick of people pretending to be so above it all. It's not about being above it all. It's about being a decent human being. And with that said, I love watching beauty channels of all sizes and will continue to watch and support them. And I do know that he does do that. He does do that. The dramatic ones, the non-dramatic ones, the ones who genuinely love makeup and show their skills. Sadly, these channels are way less viewed for the reasons I've stated above. Another reason why they're way less viewed is because larger YouTube channels don't collaborate with them. I'm just saying. Be the change, Mr. Dawson. Be the change. If you see smaller channels that you think really truly are amazing, be the change. Don't pick the Jeffree Star next time. Pick the person you truly believe should be that next person that's big. Be the change. Okay, last part. As for my channels, I'm done with the beauty world. I love what I was able to create with Jeffrey. I'm sure people are going to assume I did it only for money, but that's not true. I'm choosing to no longer be a part of that world. Um, he's still going to choose to buy stuff. And then a few hours later, I deleted everything. I'm done. For those who wanted me to address it, I did. I'm sure you can find it reposted somewhere, but I don't want this energy in my life on my timeline. I'm too sensitive for this stuff and I'm done. Okay, so the beauty community isn't the problem. It's the top tier YouTubers that, and, the, and people lifting up those top tier YouTubers, that's the problem. It's not the beauty community, I promise you. Shane, I promise you it is not the beauty community. It's not. It's just not. All right, let me see what the community is saying. Yep, Christine, he could have used the Shane Glossy channel to promote smaller channels. 100%, absolutely. Absolutely. Crystal says, I don't watch or support Shane, but it's hypocritical that he's calling out drama, yet his friends, Jeffrey, Tana, Jake, Paul, Trisha Paytas, right. (sighs) 
Anna says, I really hope Shane will watch this chat. And he may. He um he's watched some of my chats before. And I don't, my goal is not, I do, I do not want to hurt Shane Dawson. I don't want to hurt him. I don't want this to be an unpleasant experience for him watching this video. And I'll probably DM him later and say he might want to wait watching this because I don't want to hurt him. But I feel like he's just got it wrong. And it and I I wanted to talk about that. So that's how I feel. Elizabeth says he never chose to be part of the beauty community, never posted a beauty video. He made a palette with the most dramatic person around, made his millions, and now is trying to play victim. I don't know. I hate that term, playing victim. Um, yeah, Andrew says the same thing the victim mentality said. I don't think it's, I don't think he's necessarily trying to play victim. Like, I don't know. I, I don't know. Maybe I just need to like internalize that phrase a little bit differently and a little better. And, but there's no doubt that he could have gone a different route, gotten fewer views, and had a po more positive experience. I mean, hindsight's twenty twenty, but I don't think that that he would have, just because that wouldn't have gotten as many views. And that's what YouTube's all about, is getting views. So why would he specifically collaborate with someone knowing he would get less views? That's the problem. It's this, it's all mushy and backwards. Steph says, now I've just grown to assume every time some kind of drama is brought up, it's to get people talking and sell a product so I don't follow it anymore. And Steph, you are, that's, that's why you're one of my moderators is because you're insanely smart. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we, we have to decide individually what we're going to do and, and who we're going to watch and who we're going to raise up. And with that being said, let's take a little break and we are going to talk about what's on my face today. And then we're going to move on to some happy things. All right. So on my face today, again, this was five minute makeup challenge time. <laughs> like no joke, because I, I changed my topic at the last minute. So makeup geek. Okay. I use these two shades right here. My nails are so chipped. I wanted to take my nail polish off before chat. I ran out of time. So did not happen. Uh, let's see. Makeup geek. This one is honey badger. And this one is, oh, oh, cheetah bear. That's what I have on my, in my crease today. Oh, and I think I might have a little bit of this one down here. This one is chocolate wasted. Okay. Then on my lid, I've been obsessed with these Cleona Cosmetics shadows recently. On my lid today, I didn't use one of the stained glass ones. I used some of these. So I use this shade right here. Pretty sure. I think so. Yep. This is salamander, and that's what's on my outer corner. And then my inner corner, I have soul, S-O-L. And then on my lower lash line, I have this one here. This is called caribou on my lower lash line. These are just insane. Let me swatch them for you just because I think we need some good swatching in our lives. This is kind of what I did today is bam, boyum. Boy, um, I love that color combo. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. See, this is the joy of the beauty community is swatching something, seeing colors and getting that feeling, that oh, feeling. It's so good. It's so good. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> Let me get something to wipe my arm off. Hold on. This is, this is the joy. This is the joy right here. It's all here. Okay. Okay. So that's what's on my eyes today. Um, my eyeliner is the Cleopatra eyeliner from Uma Beauty. If you did not watch my Uma Beauty video, go watch it. It's really good. I'm really proud of it. It's a really good video. You should totally watch it. Uh, let's see. On my cheeks today, I grabbed this because I really love this peach blush. I've had this forever. This is the Too Faced Pop It Don't Peach Blush. I still love this thing and I'm not wearing any highlighter because I ran out of time. And then my lipstick today, I didn't even realize what I was putting on when I put it on. This is a MAC lipstick that I received in PR and this is the Gabriel Zamora shade. <laughs> I didn't do that on purpose. It's really funny. I picked it up and I was like, oh, that's a nice shade for day. And this is getting old. I'm probably gonna have to get rid of it soon. But still, it's the Gabriel Zamora shade, which I think is very funny. Um, I think everything that I showed you today was set in PR except for this was purchased. All right. So let's move on. Oh yeah, let's say hi. We're going to have a little puppy break. Say hi to my puppy. And then we're going to move on to happier things that are happening in the beauty community and talk about the successes and wonderful things that are happening. All right, so this is Look Haley. Look how big the puppy got. She's so big. She turned into a dog. Oh, 
Oh, come here. I'll take her. You got her? Okay. All right. Here. Got her? Yes, I got her. So my puppy turned into a dog. She just turned one in April. And she is such a good baby. Here, let me hold her like a baby. See, she lets me hold her like a baby. She's such a good girl. And I love her so much. She's so sweet. It's funny because the kids will like try to pick her up and she'll go, mm, mm. Okay, she wants to get down. Come here, puppy. Okay, you got her? Okay, thank you. All right. Thank you. I appreciate it. My bra straps are hanging out. Burp, burp. Hello, everybody. This is my husband. Happy Father's Day, baby. Oh, thanks. Gabriel Zamora on your cheek. <laughs> you got a little lipstick. Where? Right there. Okay. My lip, I have lipstick on my teeth like every chat somehow. But yeah, this is Haley. She's my love. You leaving now? Are you going to stay? And for everybody. Get closer to the mic. Hello, hello. For everybody who wants less negativity in the beauty world that didn't watch the Uma review that Jennifer put up the other day. That's an incredible video. They got like so many less views than it should have gotten. But you're watching this. Like, use your clicks to like change the beauty space. Like, go watch that content. Use your clicks, man. Vote with your clicks. Yep. It's a really good video. Thank you. And all the other videos. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Sorry. Appreciate it. Thank Goodbye. you. <laughs> it's true though this video is going to get so many more views and this took me this is going to take me an hour to produce and that took me two days to produce so it's like and that video is it's it really is a good video i'm really proud of it it's very you know very informative it's got some funny parts in it i have a little thing on the brand owner and everything you have to vote with your clicks and it's not just my channel it's it's all of the channels that you love you know that are just putting out good solid beauty content Watch those if you want to watch those. Just making sure I'm not missing anything. Okay. So, um, Audra's, Audra's talking to me right now. She's going to be mad because she was like, you may not want to talk about Jeffree Star today. But that was what, that was, that popped up after Audra Marco Poloed me about not talking about Jeffree Star today. But Audra's probably right. Audra's always right. <laughs> She's always right. Uh, my Natalia, um, Natalia, not Natalia, Natalia. Uh, she, uh, Haley is a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. Uh, Val says, I am. I didn't get a chance to view it because of work, but I'm going to catch up on Jen Lowe's reviews. Thank you, Val. And don't feel obligated. It's not just about my content. If you're not interested in Uma Beauty, you shouldn't watch that video. But at the same time, you know, make a choice to watch any content creator that's not putting out full of drama videos, you know? Because it's if you don't want to see it, then don't click on it and click on things that are awesome and not drama filled. So Uma Beauty Cosmetics, honestly, there are a lot of people sleeping on that brand. I'm just saying a lot of people are sleeping on it. It's a good brand. All right. So let's talk about some more positive things. Positive things, positive things. Okay, so I did. I forgot to do screenshots for Christy. Okay, Raw Beauty Christy had two huge milestones this week. I have to tell you the story. So I'm on Twitter and I see that Christy has hit one million YouTube subscribers. Okay, so this is this is my story about Christy. So Christy and I, when Christy was the, I met Christy when I was in the, she was in, not me, <laughs> when she was in the Nick's Face Awards, and we had about the same number of subscribers. We were hovering around 50,000, 50, 60,000. And she was such a kind-hearted soul, and she was doing this amazing, talented, like crazy work over on her channel. And her videos for Nick's Face Awards were incredible. And, um, you know, we, we kind of, we were kind of at the same place. And then she started doing more reviews. And you, I did that Why Do People Watch Raw Beauty Christie video if you want to see her journey and why she, she grew her channel. Um, so she started doing more review content and she was so good at it. And her channel started growing and growing and growing. And I felt like, like even though my channel wasn't doing the same, having the same successes that she was, I kind of lived vicariously through Christy. Like every time she had an success, every time she got to go on a brand trip, every time that she was doing something, I felt like she was kind of like my, like, like my, my twin in, you know, because we both kind of started, a, well, I started before she did, but you know what I mean? Like, I felt like we were kind of like this and then just watching her take off and knowing what a good person she was, it was like, yes. 
So seeing her hit a million subscribers was like, like in a way, like I felt that vicariously through her, like what that feels like. And I just, I'm so insanely happy for her. But the, the big thing, I mean, that's a big thing. But the even bigger thing is that Christy has been trying to get pregnant for what, 12 years. And I've watched that journey in her and I know how heartbreaking that is. I mean, if you know anything about her relationship with her niece, she loves that little girl more than any, more than life. I mean, and, and Christy is just like, I wish she was my aunt. <laughs> so like her and Zach not being parents, I mean, I, of course they could adopt and all of that, but to see that they're going to be able to be parents is like, it's a gift. It's it's a gift to the world because wh who, whatever child they produce, I'm sure is going to be an amazing human that's going to do amazing things because they are going to raise this child well. And it's in the, and the child's going to be half Christy and half Zach. I mean, like, come on. You're like, this is going to be amazing. So one thing that I loved about that moment, when Christy hits a million subscribers and a few minutes later, she launches this video saying that she's pregnant. I thought when I saw the video of her, like, like the, the thing, I thought it was because she had a million subscribers. I didn't realize it was something else. And then I was like, how the heck did she get that video up so fast? Like her reaction to hitting a million subscribers. And then it was something even better. And for a brief moment, for a brief moment, we were all united. The entire beauty community was united behind Christy and happy for her. I'm an emotional person. But that's what the beauty community is about. That's what it should be about. That's what we should be celebrating. That's what we should be focusing on. That's what we should be viewing. I mean, it's, Christy was trending on Twitter, just the name Christy. And I was so insanely happy for her. And I think that because that moment happened, it gave me hope. It gave me a lot of hope, just for our community in general, that we can be better and we can do better. You know, and I've also noticed that I've been getting a lot more black creators recommended to me and my recommended. That's another topic that I, that gives me hope. So, I mean, it just, I think they, they were all so insanely happy for Christy. And I hope that we can hold on to that just a little bit longer. And even though the main topic of the day really is Shane and Jeffrey, and the main topic of the day a few days ago was Christy, I hope we can hold on to the Christy topic through this. I hope we can hold on to the positivity of things that people are doing in our community. So... Fearless Beauty Queen says, the first thing that came to my head when I saw the notification is pregnancy. That gives me so uh, so much hope. I've been trying for 10 years. And and it can be very, you know, when's going to be my time kind of thing. Um, that's a quote from a Kevin Smith movie. <laughs> ben Affleck said it. But anyway, um, I think it's it's one of those things where it can be disheartening to people who are trying, but it just shows that there is hope. There is hope for a lot of people. Yes, Tracy says we all need these positive things to hold on to at these crazy times. Su Yen says, even though Christy does not know me, I cried for her in happiness. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you, Pretty Little Life, for joining the Elite. I appreciate you. And if there's people that I missed, um, I will uh, I will be doing shout outs soon of new members. Lynn, thank you so much for joining the Elite. Freya says, it's such a wonderful moment. She has a video coming out soon. I can't wait to watch it. Oh, absolutely. And if you're not following Christy on Instagram and Twitter, she really does uh, say a lot of things on those platforms as far as updates for her. So make sure you're following her there as well. Like she uh, commented, like, how do you name a whole human? <laughs> like that's such a responsibility of giving a, a human a name, you know? And it's true. It's so true. Really is. All right. So the other thing I wanted to talk about, which starts off in the negative and upsetting, um, but it ends up a little more positive. So Marlena Stell found this video of a woman in Washington, D.C. who was picked up by a bunch of men and thrown into a dumpster. And I'm not going to show the video because it is upsetting to watch. It is very upsetting. 
I'm just going to show this. I do have a clip of her feet in the air, but I'm uh, like a little screenshot of her feet in the air, but it's even that picture upsets me. So I'm not even going to show that. Um, but Marlena wanted to, um, she says she wanted to find her and ask, uh, ask any of you to write her encouraging, uh, wait, let me just read it. I'd like to send her a big makeup basket and a note. This happened in Washington, D.C. No woman deserves to be treated like this. If we find her, I'll ask any of you to write her an encouraging card to send with the makeup basket. Uh, and then they were finding the men who had thrown her in the in the dumpster, but they weren't finding her. So they ended up finding her. Uh, and then this is what she said. She says, I want to send a card to the beautiful woman who is mistreated in D.C. Please send to my P.O. box so I can include her in, uh, include it in the box I want to ship out next week. And it says her name and her cash out. So this is her official cash app. I did find that in other places as well. If you wanted to just send her some money and just be like, like, yeah, if you want to send her some money, that's her cash app. And then there's the PO box if you want to send her a kind note. Um, and she's going to send her a box. And said, so let's show her that we support women being treated amazingly and rally around her. And I just thought that that was really nice of her to go out of her way to do that. Um, you know, and what, what broke my heart in that video, if you do watch it, is the way she cries at the end. You can just tell that she's just so, like at one point she's almost smiling, like she's trying to take it as a joke. And then it hits her what happened and she just starts crying and it is just heartbreaking. So, you know, lifting up women who have gone through situations and building them up and telling them that they're loved and that they're cared for, I think is is just such a wonderful thing to do. Um, so yeah, so there's that and you can screenshot it and you can send notes to the Makeup Geek PO box. You can send her some money on Cash App uh, if you like. Um, so I wanted to highlight that as well because I think that it's important that we take care of each other just as humans. <laughs> BB says, wait, Christy is pregnant? Yes, she is. Yes, she is. She is. Yes, Despicable E says she received a makeover by a group of women. And I meant to screenshot that and put that in chat. Let me find that. Because I saw that this morning on my feed. And I'm going to see if I can find it. I think I have to. Let me go. Oh, I think it's on Marlena's Twitter. I think that she, I think she retweeted it. And see if I can find it. There she is. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So let me, hold on, I got to move this for a second. Hold on. Oh, wait, no, I don't. I just want to show you because it's just such a beautiful thing. Her smile is just, oh my gosh, so happy. I love it. Okay. I'm saving it and I'm inserting it now so you can see. Add input, image, browse. There it is, open. Okay, and let me pull it out for you. Just, I mean, look at her face. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look how happy she is. And look how beautiful her eye look is. I kind of wish they had another picture of her just so we could see like her eyes open. And um, I'm sure, actually, you know what? I bet you it's on this Instagram. I bet you that there's more pictures of her and how gorgeous she looks. Like, come on. You know, like this is what we need to see more of. This is the beauty community. This is the real beauty community. Uh, I realized I was echoing. Okay, let me go over to back over to your comments. So, I mean, like I was saying earlier, the beauty community is what you make it. It's it's who you choose to watch uh, and the, what you decide to surround yourself with. The beauty community is full of thousands and thousands of people, uh, and you just have to make a choice. So, you know. All right, uh, Jamie says, why did she get thrown in the trash? From the videos, it seems that she was refusing to kiss someone. Um, that's what it seems like, is that there was a, a man there and they were trying to get her to kiss him and she wasn't doing it, is what it seems like. Um, but nobody deserves to be thrown in the trash for any reason. I don't care what she did. When it, when it, when it comes, it doesn't matter. She could have cussed them out. She could have talked about their moms. She could have done anything. And she did not deserve that. Nobody deserves that. That's my opinion. Ever. So. 
All right, I'm reading the comments to see because I'm out of topics and we got 10 minutes left. Um, those were the things I wanted to highlight. Um, one thing I was watching earlier that I can talk about. Oh, Angelica Newquist is here. Hello, Angelica. Speaking of positivity in the beauty community, go check out Angelica's recent review of the new Urban Decay Ultraviolet palette. You should go watch that because it's full of good information and not people being jerks. <laughs> go watch Angelica. Yeah, Indigo Blue Beauty says they were calling her ugly and ganged up on her. Yes. Um, oh, I was going to talk about Jamie French. Jamie French is, uh, she is kind of changing her channel a little bit and she's going to do more comedy than beauty, which I think is really great of her. Um, she is an excellent comedian and I applaud her for going with her gut and, and going with the comedy aspect of it and using makeup as kind of like a, a side thing with it. I think that that's where she should go in my opinion. Totally. 100%. I think Jamie is amazing. I love her. Uh, okay, Mickey says, what about Beauty Bakery drama? We talked about that, the end of what's up in makeup uh, with Beauty Bakery. Um, there's a summary over there. So with Beauty Bakery, there was a, an Instagram post that they put up about uh, that they were, we were going to be hearing from uh, absent black fathers. Uh, at this thing that they were doing. And so a voice you rarely hear from is present black fathers and husbands. And I, they, it seems like they meant it as the media doesn't show present black fathers, but the way it was interpreted is that there aren't black fathers that are present. And some people thought that that was, once it was explained, like that was okay. And a lot of people didn't think that that was okay. And then there are people coming out about the back end of Beauty Bakery and that it's not a good, healthy place to work. Uh, there is some, um, the, all the information is at the very end of what's up in makeup today. I mean, not being, I, I feel like I, I don't really have a place to give a personal thought on that. Um, I think that everybody should be respected uh, and I think any any disrespect to any group of people is wrong. So, unless they're horrible people. <laughs> unless what defines that group is that they're horrible people. <laughs> like axe murderers and racists. Like, they, they can shove off. Yeah, Bianca says, on to better things. I'm glad the young lady is happy because what happened to her was horrible. Yes. Christine says, I'm curious about the new Urban Decay palette. I find U.S. palettes to be a hit and miss. Urban Decay has been very hit and miss for me for a long time, mostly miss. Um, so I was going to buy it. And then I asked the community and over 50% of my poll on both YouTube and Twitter both said don't buy it. So instead, I'll show you what I did buy. I bought this. I bought the palette from Natasha Denona. I bought both palettes. Excuse me, I bought both palettes and I bought the deepest shade of lip balm. Lip balm, gloss balm, I think is what they're called. I bought the deepest shade there. So, yeah. So that's what I got instead because people seem to be really excited about Natasha Denona right now. So that's what I purchased. Instead. Um, I'm trying to, because we still are in um, like financial, we're in much, much better place than we were a few weeks ago, but I'm not trying to spend a ton of money on beauty products right now. Especially, like I'm being really conscious about what I buy. So that was my big June purchase. My uh, May purchase was the Uma Beauty stuff. This is my June purchase. So as soon as I get that, it actually officially goes on sale on the 23rd, but it is on pre-order right now. So I'm excited to review that for you. But I'm not buying anything else. That's it. That's my only June purchase. I figure if I just stick to one purchase a month, then I can really focus on it and review it. And then if I get things in PR that are exciting, I can review that as well. Uh, Heather says, do you think Tati is coming back? I hope so. I hope she does. I don't think now is the time. If I were her, I would totally like be hiding and not coming out and coming back right now. Um, I don't see any reason why she should come back right now uh, for her own sanity. I mean, she needs to do what she what she needs to do to, to, to help herself have a happy life. And I don't think YouTube is a good place for her right now. I, I think that she needs to be 
you know, with her husband and her dog and her family, her sisters, and be happy. Um, yeah, that's the way I feel about that. Despicable Eve, you talked about the Pat McGrath Mothership 8. I have not. Um, I got, <laughs> okay, so when I learned about that and that people were real excited about it, by the time I would have gotten it and been able to review it, it's probably a little late. So I passed on that one, even though it looked gorgeous. But I feel like I jumped on that too late. And that's my fault. That's my fault. Ashma says, what did Tati do? I think she just hasn't been on social media in a long time. Uh, over a month. Maybe even longer than that. Maybe even two months. So she's just taking a social media break. She, she said she was taking a break and then just disappeared. Um, I just hope that wherever she is, whatever she's doing, that she is well. So, Jennifer says, I'm kind of over new palette releases. How many warmer, cool palettes do I need? Been focusing on holes in my collection like bronzers and skincare. Nice. I think a lot of people feel exactly the same way. A lot of people feel exactly the same way. All right, we've got about four minutes left. What do you all want to talk about? Uh, BB says, did she really go away because of low views? I don't think so. I don't know, but I would imagine not. Um, you know, I've, I've definitely had um, times where I was receiving a lot of negativity, either due to my own fault or due to whatever, mostly due to my own fault. Uh, so I know how it feels to feel piled on and to be piled on constantly for a year is, I can't even imagine. So it just, she needs to just take care of herself, you know? Yep. Uh, Libetsy says, I'm a little behind, but I started watching Rob Beauty Christie because the Knicks Awards, I voted for her when she was in it and I had tickets to go, but couldn't make it. Oh, that would have been nice. That would have been nice. I wish I could have gone. Julie says, how amazing the collective brain of awesomeness is. We are awesome. As a collective, I love you guys. Like, I appreciate you all so much coming to live chat, coming to just my channel in general, watching my content. Like, I just appreciate you all so much. You know, the thing is about YouTube is that we are constantly competing. I mean, like, my videos are competing with Netflix and Hulu and these huge YouTubers and you know I mean I know you have a choice of what you can watch and I said this before I know you have a choice and the fact that you choose this to watch and that you're here watching this just means so much to me and I hope that you like chat I hope that you do I usually lose about 50 subscribers every chat <laughs> So logically, it's kind of dumb for me to keep doing chat. But I've been doing chat for so long. Like, it would be hard for me not to come hang out with you on Sunday mornings. I have legit been doing chat for, I think, seven years, pretty much every Sunday. So uh, Nikki says, I thought you started at 10. I did. We actually have two minutes left. It's almost 11 here on the East Coast. Yes, Ruby says, I've been sharing some amazing drama-free, genuine beauty YouTubers to boost the positivity of our community on Twitter. Oh, yay. Love that. Love that. Wiener. Are... Wiener. Wiener. <laughs> Wiener Z93. This is the first live I've made it to, it, Jen, and I like it here. I'm glad you like it here. That's awesome. Thank you. Oh, Flanny says, Jen, I just want to let you know I love your live chats. They're definitely not for everybody. Definitely not for everybody. Carla says, uh, pulling out things that belong to the same line in my collection and trying them on has been fun tonight i'm going to pull out all that i own from jacqueline hill nice have a good time i hope you have fun manor jack says love chat wish you could do more i love chat too it's fun christine says it's such a great way to start my sunday oh i'm so glad oh thank you jessica says oh hi jess jess says uh lonely quarantine without chat well i'm happy to be here and hang out with you for an hour. <laughs> Nikki says, okay, so it's nine, not 10 for me. I guess so, yes. It's hard with time zones. Time zones are hard. They make everything complicated. Yeah, Lisa says, I love watching chat because we're on the same wa wavelength. Nice, I love that. I love that for us. I love that we're on the same wavelength. I mean, and it's okay if we're not on the same wave wavelength, that's okay too. That's all right. Uh, 
Tracy says, I look forward to chat every week. I set my alarm so I never miss it. Nice. Very cool. All right, I gotta go. It is that time. Happy Father's Day. I'm going to go spend some time with my family. Thank you for being here. Uh, please keep in mind that this chat is live and I sometimes don't articulate myself perfectly live. Uh, sometimes I listen back to chat and I'm like, oh, I could have said that a little bit better. I could have said that a little differently. Um, you know, sometimes things don't come out perfectly because it's live and unedited. So please keep that in mind as you watch this chat. I have no idea what I said earlier. <laughs> I, as far as like my exact words used, but hopefully I articulated myself okay. Uh, I think that that we have a long way to go in the beauty community and the only people that can change the beauty community is us. We're the only ones by lifting up people that are genuinely good people. So do that. Watch some really nice people today on YouTube. Thank you so much for being here. Mad love to you. And I will see you in chat next Sunday. All right, talk to you soon. Bye. Have a great week.